Hello friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is probability. As you know, probability is one of the very important topic for all kind of competitive exams. Let it be bank, SSC, railway, UPSC, CSAT and placement trainings. In all the exams, question from probability will be asked. Our today's question is one of the very important question. So let's understand and try to solve it here. So in a lottery, a person chooses six different natural number at random from 1 to 20. So suppose we have numbers from 1 to 20, 1, 2, 3, 4 until 20. So total numbers, if I will say, then the total numbers, friends, if I will say, then total numbers are 20, right? Now, a person is going to choose six different natural number. So friends, if you want to choose six different number from 20, then it will become 20 C6. Now, the probability formula is nothing but PE is equals to NE divided by NS. So, total outcome will become 20 C6 because out of 20 natural number, you are going to select, you are going to select six different natural number. Now, if the six numbers match with the six numbers already fixed by the lottery committee, he wins the prize. What is the probability of winning the prize in a game? Now, friends, the six number suppose, the six number suppose fixed by the committee is nothing but 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there is, there is only one way, there is only one way lottery committee has fixed. That is means that is only one number the lottery committee has fixed like 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I am just giving an example. So suppose a lottery committee has fixed the six numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If if you are selecting six number out of that, if you are selecting selecting six numbers out of that, and if this matches with this, then only then only you will be able to win. So if you are selecting also two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever has been fixed by the lottery committee, then only you will be able to win. So there is only one choice for you. There is only one way for you. You can win if the selected number matches with the lottery committee whatever has fixed so there is only one come there is only one way so this will become your favorable event in your favor if this you get if you get a bunch of numbers then only you will be able to then only you will be able to win the lottery right friends now this if you'll solve you'll be able to get the answer so ncr will be equal to n divided by factorial n divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial now n factorial will be nothing but if you are calculating 20 say 6 then 20 divided by r is nothing but 6 factorial and n minus r 20 minus 6 factorial now if you will expand this then 20 into uh, it will be 19 into 18 into 17 into 16 into 15 into 14 factorial so the calculation will be quite lengthy here no doubt and 6 factorial will be nothing but 120. 6 factorial will be, see 5, sorry, 6 factorial will be 120 into 6. See, uh, 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24, 5 factorial will be 120, and 6 factorial will be 720, or you can write 120 into 6. And 20 minus 6 will be 14 factorial. So this and this will get cancelled. Now, friends, you can see. 20 will divide this by 6 times. So 20 will divide this by 6 times and then further you can divide 6 3 ja 8, 3 2 ja 6 and 2 8 ja. So basically friends we will have the 19 into 17 into 15 into 8. So this much we will be having now. Now 19 into 17 you have to multiply and 15 into 8 will be 120. So if this multiplication if you'll do then you'll be getting as friends 38760 38760 if you do this calculation then it will be 38760 so 1 divided by 38760 will be the answer for the question number one which was a very good question in the today's video now friends moving towards the next question now friends question number two two dice are rolled what is the probability of getting the sum of numbers as a multiple of 5 or 4. So friends, when you will roll 2 dice, then the total outcomes will be nothing but 36, right? So when you roll 2 dice, then total number of outcomes will be nothing but 36. And this friends, I have explained in the previous video. So you can watch the video once so that you will be able to understand the concept in deep. Now when we roll the dice, then we will be getting the outputs like this that also you are aware. Right friends? Now, directly we will try to solve. 
सो टू डैश आर ऑल्ड वॉट इज़ द क्वालिटी ऑफ द नंबर्स आर ए मल्टीपल ऑफ फाइव और फोर सो दिस साइड वी विल फोर एंड दिस साइड वी विल कीप फाइव राइट सो सम एज सम एज सम ऑफ द नंबर्स एज मल्टीपल ऑफ फाइव और फोर सो सी फाइव वी विल डिवाइड फाइव एंड फाइव विल डिवाइड टेन सो वेन द सम विल बी फाइव सो आई दर यू हैव वन फोर फोर वन टू थ्री एंड थ्री टू सो दीज आर द ओनली सो दीज आर द ओनली आउटकम्स वेन दीज आर ओनली कॉम्बिनेशन वेन सम विल बी फाइव वन फोर फोर वन टू थ्री थ्री टू अदर दैन दैट सी अदर दैन दैट यू सी फ्रॉम वन एंड देन फ्रॉम टू देन फ्रॉम थ्री देन फ्रॉम फोर एंड देन फ्रॉम फाइव सो फाइव एंड सिक्स विल नॉट बी कंसिडर्ड इयर बिकॉज फाइव एंड वन मिनिमम विल बी सिक्स सो फ्रॉम विथ वन विल हैव वन फोर विथ फोर विल हैव फोर वन विथ टू विल हैव टू थ्री एंड विथ थ्री विल हैव थ्री टू नाउ टेन सो टेन विल बी नथिंग बट सो टेन विल बी नथिंग बट फ्रेंड्स इयर यू कैन सी वी कैन स्टार्ट विथ फोर सिक्स एंड सिक्स फोर एंड फाइव फाइव सो दिस थ्री कॉम्बिनेशन विल गिव यू सम एज टेन नाउ विथ फोर सो विथ फोर the sum will be the sum which will be divisible the sum which will be divisible or a multiple will be 4 and then 8 and then 12 so 12 will be very easy 6 comma 6 now if we'll talk about 4 then 1 comma 3 3 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 three combinations will be there with 8 so with 8 we will have 3 comma 5 2 comma 6 6 comma 2 5 comma 3 and we'll have 4 comma 4 so these are the combinations And their sum will be either divisible by five or four. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So my probability will be equal to n e divided by n s. So if we we'll talk about n s, then the total outcomes is nothing but thirty six, and our favorable outcomes is nothing but sixteen. So sixteen by thirty six. That means option D will be the correct answer for our question. And all these two questions, whatever we solved today, was a important question from the probability. So friends, whatever we have done till now, these questions are sufficient for scoring good marks in probability. So thanks a lot for watching the video.